hi guys welcome back my name is katlero if you're new to the channel and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to another video today's video by the title i am going to talk about my academic journey i've talked about my undergraduate journey on the channel you can find the video and in the description where i talk about my undergrad which is first second and third year doing my bsc degree but today i'm going to talk about my undergraduate journey specifically my master's degree because honestly my honors degree was just a blur and i was just a mess <laughs> throughout it so without wasting any time let's get into the video so first things first i did my honors in 2019 and i did it in the school of animal plant and environmental sciences at wits university I did a couple of subjects such as biogeography. If you don't know what biogeography is, I chose this particular module because of the type of project I was working on. I also did environmental engineering and phytoremediation mostly because it sounded interesting and I wanted to learn more about it. I also took, what else did I take? I tend to forget these type of things. We did statistics, we did are we did gis i like gis i'm still trying to learn gis even today the others i forget i'll put a list up here i did those modules for my honors and then i also had an honors project where i did the management plan for a nature reserve so my project was around a management plan of a nature reserve that is why um, everything just ended up working together. So anyway, my honors degree was one year, 2019. It was very rough. It was a lot. I felt like I was running. I was just constantly running throughout that whole year. Like, there was no room to breathe. I think that is why I, I don't really have a lot of memories with regards to that particular year in my life. It was just a lot. It was just everything happening all at once. And I was very happy the day I handed in my honors project. And the last day of my exams, I was like, oh my God, it's finally over. I can put this behind me. So honestly, that is all I have to say about my honors degree. It's just just a lot moving on to my master's i started my master's degree in 2020 COVID. oh my goodness and i did it through i submitted my master's dissertation in 2022 january or february somewhere there so it was a total of two years do i have masters during COVID for me it wasn't really a big deal because again you work alone the only problem was going into something that you've never done before by yourself it felt like because you are so isolated i had no one to ask questions i've talked about it before that that was one of the reasons why i started this channel to kind of share and try to connect with people in a similar field so yeah i started my masters then my masters was focused on the reassessment of three endemic plant species so i had four chapters in my dissertation the first one was the general introduction i think the second one i looked at cl the climate change impacts on those plant populations i also looked at climate modeling chapter three was um the reproductive biology of the plant species and then chapter four was the iuc and reassessment of the plant species so it was a huge huge msc project and it was over 100 pages long after i wrote it all and a lot happened in those two years so let's start from the beginning january register everything is nice i'm a master's student you know vibing um february things are still going well i'm discussing okay you have to write what's called a proposal that you are going to submit to a committee they have to review the proposal is this project suitable to be a master's degree is it big enough is it too small is it too large of a project to be a master's degree stuff like that and to do a whole project proposal you have to, it's like doing a mini project basically you have to have literature review you have to specify your objectives your main for the project which methods are you planning to do yada 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 i submitted that around may i think it was approved 
my project can now start but you need to understand my project involves field work i can't do field work because it's covid so i ended up doing the climate change chapter because i just had to do like data analysis i had to do climate modeling and gis and all of these things i met a roadblock so to speak because i don't know what climate modeling is okay at this point i have no idea what did i get myself into what am i doing it's covid who am i gonna ask these things so google <laughs> google like our savior i'm on google i'm reading papers how do you analyze climate day yo guys i had to teach myself climate modeling okay i had to teach myself climate modeling which software do i need how do i install it how do i run it all of these things and then luckily around july august um they allowed us to go back to campus the postgraduate students so i was able to meet with some seniors that is people who are like doing their phds or their master's second year that are older than me that have that have done this type of data analysis so i got help so i was able to complete that chapter submit it to my supervisor and discuss how can i make it better changes that need to, to be made etc second year that is when i could do my field work because that is when we were able to travel because i had to do my field work in Mpumalanga, which is another province so i had to travel to Mpumalanga back and forth between Gauteng to do my field work there i climbed mountains i have a whole playlist i climbed mountains i was counting plants trying to determine the population size of these plants by the way i worked on three plant species so you can imagine the amount of work that went into it and then on top of that i was looking at the reproductive biology of one of the plant species so i had to do like pollination things wait for the seeds to develop collect the seeds go back to the lab try and see if i can germinate them how many you so my project was really 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 big for me okay i looked at it i was like oh my god when i did this project proposal i didn't think it was gonna be such a huge feat but it ended up being a very big project and i'm just proud that i was able to complete it but i went through a lot so that was my master's journey and then we went and then we go to like putting everything together so how i went about my master's project like i've mentioned 2020 because i couldn't travel i worked on the chapter in my master's that i could do from home so i learned the data analysis all of these things the climate modeling and i wrote that chapter so by the end of 2020 i had a chapter written down which was the climate change chapter and then 2020 2021 when i could do field work that's when i worked on the other two chapters which was the reassessment because i need field work data to write that chapter and then the reproductive biology because i needed to do the reproductive parts of my project and then collect the seeds and then and 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 and, and. so 2021 i wrote those two chapters and then the first chapter which was the general introduction that's something you can always just do because it's literature review and then the conclusion was the conclusion so my master's journey was overwhelming but surprisingly it wasn't as overwhelming as my honors because I think I was a little bit more grown, I was a little bit more mature, I knew what to expect from a postgraduate degree. I knew that for a master's, especially a master's by dissertation, I had to be a lot more independent and I had to learn to work by myself to prioritize what needed to be done when etc and because my supervisor was not based in the province where I like in Gauteng basically I had to communicate with them online I had to make sure that I submit things to them 
so I can get feedback because again they're doing their own things they have other students so I have to hop on calls with them discuss what do I need to do here this is the help that I need etc etc so it's all about planning MSc is all about planning because again you're working from home at your own time you're living your best life you can do whatever you want whenever you want so being able to complete something at the time that you need to complete it it's all up to you so yeah blood sweat and tears went into it but i think another thing that is quite important for me to talk about i've talked about it in another video link in the description where i talked about um at some point i thought about quitting because it just became too much it was the isolation the struggling to figure out what do i need to do who can i ask for 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 help because again i'm working by myself i'm working on a project that is just my project nobody else can be like this is how you need to do this because again i'm the one who knows what i'm trying to do my supervisor is the only one who can advise me other people are doing their own projects in other specialities and such so trying to get help was a little bit difficult and that's why it got overwhelming to a point and i went through a point where i was just like oh my god do i want to do this i feel like my mental health is not okay and i think all the people in my life who supported me because they'd be like you know what if you need to take a break just take a week off and just don't do any kind of work relax come back to yourself and then go back and see what needs to be done so it wasn't an easy journey it's easy to talk about it now and be like oh this is what i did and then i did this and then i did this and then i did this but two years is a very long time of sitting down at a desk reading scientific papers trying to get stuff done and you have seen from the videos from back then when I would go to campus and I would like try to work by myself. It was just, it wasn't fun. But it's a very good thing to go through because you grow up mentally and you grow up emotionally. You have to emotionally support yourself. And it's nice now to be like, oh, I have a master's degree or whatever. Although I forget that I have it because it's just something I've done. Anyway, I hope this video is interesting. I don't know. I've thought about it so much. How can I talk about my MSc? But yeah, for me, everything is just jumbled in my head. So if you have any questions specifically around an MSc, anything you would like to know, please let me know in the comment section. If it's an easy question, I'll answer in the comments. If it's something I think I need to elaborate on, I'll make a video again. This is how we roll on the channel. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.